Okay, so here we are in After Effects. I'm gonna show you how to make some simple shapes and animate those shapes. This is what I made or pre-made, is this animation where the ball bounces off or fall, flies off of this square onto this rotating polygonal shape. And it kind of bounces on that. I feel like this is a really good simple animation, but it's pretty effective to start with to get your head around how After Effects works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new composition here. I'm gonna click on this. I'm just gonna go 920 by 1080. So that kicks me into a new composition here. So you'll see that your compositions are stacked up here. So if I double click on this, up here it will open up my old composition. If I double click on here, it opens up my new composition. And they're also available here. I call this the timeline or it's the composition line. There's my day one that I did and here's my new one. So here's how you get started. You're down into this blank area here, right here beside the timeline. You right click in this area, new. This is how you're gonna start this. Shape layer. So you click, click a new shape layer, then you just go up into here and you here's all your shapes. And these shapes are similar to the ones that you saw in Illustrator. So go to rectangle tool. I'm gonna click and drag and make that rectangle tool. Then here's my selection or move tool and I can move this around. So I'm gonna put that in spot here. So if I wanna change the dimensions and make it a little more rectangle, I just grab the anchor point here, just like you did in Illustrator. If I wanna change the fill color, click on there. Here's where I can change the color quickly. Click on the actual fill name. You can select gradients, radial gradient, whatever it is you want. I'm gonna stick with the flat color. Go okay. Here's where you, if you want to change the stroke, you can actually put a gradient on a stroke or no stroke. But I'm going to keep the stroke on. Go OK. Click on here to change the color and go OK. And then up here, I sort of just drag over this sometimes to see what kind of like sizing of the stroke, the thickness that I want. So there you go. So I've made that shape layer. You can see here when I make the layer, here, down in this area here, made the layer. There's the rectangle brought in. I'm gonna collapse that. Then I'm gonna go and I'm going to set up the polygonal over here. So I pick the polygonal, make it this shape. I'm clicking, I haven't unclicked it. Same with Illustrator. If I hit the down arrow, it will add points to the polygon, polygonal, and it will also, if you're making a start, add points. Down arrow will get rid of it. There's your triangle, up arrow adds points. This positioned that right there. Just gonna change the fill color quickly. Okay, and now I'm gonna make my circle. So I could continue making the circle directly on this shape layer. You see here that in this layer right here, it added the poly star, or the poly, I call it polygonal, but the poly star and the rectangle are all attached to this shape layer right there. I'm gonna make a second shape layer. I'm gonna right click, new shape layer. And then I'm gonna go and make my circle or my ellipse. Hold the shift key down, we'll change it proportionally. So now the circle is on this shape layer. I could have put it on this one, but I wanna demo the difference between shape layers and things being attached. It's calling it an ellipse, not a circle. So there's the ellipse. If I turn the eyeball off and on, that's how it functions. If I go down here into this shape layer here, I'm gonna demo something. Here are the poly star and the, the rectangle directly on this shape layer. I can go down here into the transform and I have all of the position and scale, the motion stuff that I have access to here with the keyframing that I can enable. If I, change, if I change rotation, see how it rotates them both together? That's because I'm on the shape layer, I'm on the transform that's controlling the entire layer. I can reposition the entire layer down here in the transform that's attached to the layer. But if I open up the separate shapes in the layer, you can see it says transform poly star. So there's also a transform enabled on the separate shapes inside of the layer. So now if I rotate this, it only rotates that shape within the layer. So what I'm gonna start with then is I'm gonna go up here into shape two. I could 
right click and rename these. I am a fan of labeling things and staying organized. So if I open up the circle, I don't recommend transforming and repositioning the layer, right? Because then if you want to attach another shape to it, it will move that shape. You might not want that shape move. So I usually stay out of transforming the entire layer. I open up and I trans or I transform or animate the separate shapes on the layer. So if I'm going to go ellipse, transform ellipse. And what I'm going to do with the ellipse is I'm just going to animate position. So I'm going to enable that, move the scrubber over here a bit. I'm just going to go to the move tool and then just move this up in the air. You see now it's added another keyframe here and all I do is move scrubber over, change position, move scrubber over, change position. And as it does that, it adds a keyframe. That is the basics of it. So if I go back here, there it's now moving. I'm going to hit the space bar to see how fast or slow. That's going really slow for me. I want it to go faster than that. So I'm going to zoom in down here. I'm going to zoom in here so I can get a little closer to the keyframes and move those closer together. This is going to move slow while this is turning green. So it's not going to give me an actual indication of how it looks in real time when it's a video. So I have to wait for this all to be green. So typically what I do is wait for it to be green, pull it back over, and watch it go. It's still kind of slow, so just bear with me. There we go. I think this will be the speed. If not, this is the speed we're sticking with. Perfect. That's much. I like that speed better. Now I have the position flying over here. I want it to bounce. So what I'm going to do is position my scrubber right there. I'm going to zoom in a bit tighter. And then I'm just going to go bounce that up, bounce that down, move scrubber up, down. I like getting a few in here because it looks a bit more random. I'm going to show you how to loop it in a sec. I'm going to see what that looks like. That's way too fast. That's better. Now I have the bounce starting here. You don't have to keep doing that. You can select all of these keyframes. I'm just marquee selecting all these keyframes. Copy, Command or Control C. Put the scrubber in position here. Command or Control V, paste. And then I can just keep pasting that. And then I've got a quick little loop that I've made. I'm going to zoom back out now from my keyframes down here. Let's see what that looks like. OK, that's a bit fast, but it is what it is. I'm going to, I could tweak that till I'm blue in the face. The last thing I want to do for the animation now is have this spin around, add a little something more dynamic to it. So I'm going to collapse this one, open my shape layer one up with the poly star. And then basically, I'm just going to go to the beginning of the uh, animation, enable the rotation, move that over here, and then just drag a rotation like this and keep spinning like that and see how that works. And there you go. That's your basic shape animation in a nutshell for you.